Hey guys, how you doing? So I'm back and today we are talking about The Disaster Artist. This is one of the most highly anticipated movies of the year. Well, the highly, most highly anticipated non-blockbuster of the year. And for good reason, this is the story about how the infamous movie The Room got made. And it's also kind of a biopic, I guess, about Tommy Wiseau. Uh, so Tommy Wiseau in this movie is played by James Franco, who also directs the movie, which is a little ironic that he stars and directs in this movie about the guy who starred and directed in his own movie that didn't really turn out so well. And his brother Dave Franco plays uh, Greg Sestro, who played Mark in The Room. And really, these two want to make it big in L.A. Um, they move out to L.A. from San Francisco. And you're kind of left wondering a lot about Tommy. You're like, where's this dude from? How old is he? Where's he getting all this money? Because what they end up doing is they self-fund uh, this entire movie. Or Tommy does. He, he self-funds and then writes, directs, produces, and stars in The Room. This movie is really funny and really heartbreaking at the same time. First off, let's start with the funny. There's a lot of situational humor that goes on throughout this movie about either the making of the room, Tommy as a person, that you're laughing throughout the entire time. And a lot of those jokes stem from Seth Rogen, who uh, plays their, I believe, their uh, DP. And... He kind of makes a lot of these jokes. It's like, what the hell is going on here? And he does a really good job uh, playing that role. But then when you get to an emotional side, you get a lot more into the relationship between Tommy and Greg and how they've been friends for years. And now this movie, it's like, dude, this movie probably isn't that good. I kind of have this path I can go on that may lead me to better things. But then Tommy is just so self indulged in this movie he needs to finish it because the rest of Hollywood isn't really going to accept him he's kind of a weirdo he's as the movie describes him unique and that is uh, put lightly I guess but James Franco does a fantastic performance as Tommy Wiseau I feel like he could be nominated for an Oscar for this performance and that's because he rides a very fine line between an incredible performance and character because Tommy Wiseau is kind of like a living caricature. But to be able to play his role, you could have either gone incredibly humored or you could have gone to a performance that's really not up to par or what it should be. And I feel like James Franco rides that line so well. The voice, he is Tommy Wiseau. It takes a little bit to get used to the voice. But by the end, you're like, dude, I'm watching Tommy Wiseau. Especially if he ever has sunglasses on. I'm like, is that actually Tommy Wiseau? Or is that James Franco as Tommy Wiseau? And they do a fantastic job not only telling this story, but kind of building on the character of Tommy What Not the character, the person of Tommy Wiseau. Who he is. Because it starts off, the movie starts off as... You think it's kind of Greg's story about how he goes to Hollywood and helps Tommy make this uh, movie The Room, and Tommy seems like a supporting character. But then as the movie goes on, it, came, it becomes more and more of Tommy's movie about how he has to finish this. He has to get this project done because, again, no one else in Hollywood is going to accept him. Nobody's going to hire him because he's not that good of an actor. And I feel like they absolutely nailed all the dramatic parts and then had comedic parts sprinkled in throughout without completely relying on those comedic aspects. It did a fantastic job writing the line between comedy and drama. And I think you could see this come award season. I don't know how much recognition it's going to get because it kind of is an odd movie. Even though it's a fantastic movie, it is a little odd. <clears throat> so I think that might hinder it come Oscar season compared to something like the traditional Oscar movie. So I really... I recommend, if you guys haven't seen The Room, first off, I recommend you see that and then watch The Disaster Artist immediately after. That's what I kind of did. I, well, I saw The Room for the first time last night and then watched The Disaster Artist tonight. 
it is absolutely nuts. And if you stay until, um, not after the credits, but after like the movie ends, they'll play a side by side of a shot from the movie and uh, a shot from what they filmed, uh, like of a replicating shot from the movie. And it's hysterical. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this movie. I'm gonna give this. I want. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten. This movie is absolutely fantastic, especially if you've seen The Room. Definitely make sure you see The Room and then watch this movie because it enhances it a lot more. But if you don't see The Room beforehand, I think you still can go into this movie. But I don't think you're gonna get everything that you could have if you see The Room. So, uh, as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, uh, share it around with all your friends, and comment, have you seen The Room? Have you seen The Disaster Artist? Where do you get? Where do you guys think Tommy Wiseau is from, and where does his money come from? Uh, make sure you guys follow the Arm Network on Instagram and Twitter. My social media will be linked down below as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time.